all my movie maniacs out there, welcome back to the final cut. And yes, we're continuing our coverage of the one of the films that made the Best of Fest nominee list of the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival where I was a judge on. Uh, it's going to be September 21st in Des Plaines, Illinois, and I definitely recommend if you're in the area to check it out. Two of the films from the Best of Fest nominee list are on our uh, chopping block today. One of them is called Death of a Cyber Salesman. Now, Death of a Cyber Salesman is kind of done... It, it's interesting, this film. It was directed by David Holcomb and written by Rory Leahy, and it gives the story of a gentleman who is finding it hard to get a job. He's a salesman, but finally, he nails that job of giving out spam to the internet for a male enhancement product. And what's great about it, though, it's done all in the styles of a 50s TV show, like a Leave it to Beaver. And the production design, the equipment they came up with it, was was great. I love the creativity and the originality of this concept of this movie. I, I always enjoy when they try to m uh, mesh together two different ideas from completely different, you know, uh, periods in time or different uh, pop culture references. I, I just love when films do that. They try to mash that together, and Death of a Cyber Salesman does that very well. It's got humor. It's got dark moments to it as well. It's got a whole range of emotions and some great performances by the actors. They do great at portraying that 50s cheese style, especially the opening in the beginning. It, it got me, it made me get, it took me aback for a minute, and I just love what they did with this story and the concept and how they approached this story. So Death of a Cyber Salesman was entertaining and a surprise as far as uh, what type of film it was, but not a surprise that it was on this list. Another one that was a lot of fun was Giant Monsters Attack Hawaii. I love this film definitely was an ode to monster films. This was like Pacific Rim on a micro budget. Uh, and then some. Uh, directed and written by Dane Nevis, we basically get the story of monsters attacking Hawaii. And now what's, what I loved about this is that they meld these puppets and uh, uh, guys in costumes in with green screen and models and do a great I mean, for the budget they had, they do a great melding of these to give just this kind of cheesy, fun uh, story about monsters attacking Hawaii. It's definitely a send-up to those. And one of the monsters kind of is questioning his role in life, and I loved that bit as well. It's got some great characters in here. The stuff they came up with for the big monsters and the, the dialogue between them is entertaining. Uh, it's definitely tongue-in-cheek, not serious at all, but the cinematography in it and the special effects were done really well, and it was a surprise that someone tried to do this type of film. And I think they succeeded with what they were going for with it. So, Death of a Cyber Salesman and Giant Monsters Attack Hawaii, two of the films on the Best of Fest nominee list for the Short Bus to Insanity Film Festival. Check it out, Des Plaines, Illinois. And until next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff.